In my previous video, I demonstrated the programming of multiple EEPROMs of type AT24C04 using Arduino. In this video, temperature and humidity readings from DHT11 sensor are acquired and written into two EEPROMs. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have two EEPROM ICs uh, interfaced with the Arduino through the I2C bus. And we have a DHT11 sensor connected to digital pin 4. And we have two push buttons connected to pins 2 and 3 of the Arduino. The circuit operation is as follows. The user will press the right button and through the serial monitor will be instructed to input the number of samples to acquire from the DHT11 sensor let's say 10 samples so we input the value of 10 through the serial monitor and then the writing begins of uh, 10 sample values where 10 temperature values will be stored in the first EEPROM and 10 humidity values will be stored in the second EEPROM once the samples are stored in the two EEPROMs, we press the read button and the 10 temperature value starting at memory address 0 will be displayed on the serial monitor and then 10 humidity value starting from location 0 will be displayed on the serial monitor. On the serial monitor, we are instructed to press write or read button. We press the write button and enter number of samples. We input, let's say, five samples, and we press the send button. And the writing of temperature to EEPROM1 and humidity to EEPROM2 begins. And the number of dots reflect the number of samples written. And then we press the read button to see the list of the samples written to EEPROM1 and EEPROM2. We can press the read button again to see the samples once more. We press the right button and this time we will input number of samples of 10. And the writing of the samples begins. 10 dots will be shown on the serial monitor. We press the read button and uh, see the temperature stored in EEPROM1 and the humidity stored in EEPROM2. A quick look at the C++ sketch used in the project. We need to include these two libraries, one for the wire communication and the other for the DHT sensor. Here we declare object DHT which will indicate that the type of sensor is DHT11 and the pin it is connected to is digital pin 4 of the Arduino. Here we have two macros which uh, define the addresses for EEPROM1 and EEPROM2. And here these are the global variables used in the code. Within the setup function, we initialize the wire library and the DHT library, and then we, pre uh, we print on the serial monitor the message press write or read button. Within the loop function, we continuously monitor the status of the write and read buttons. So if we press the uh, write button, then function write data will be called. Otherwise, if we press the read button, then the read data function will be called. Inside function write data, a text message is displayed on the serial monitor to enter the number of samples and then the serial monitor will uh, be pending for a user input and when the user inputs a value it will be stored inside variable uh, number of samples. Next this for loop is used to store the temperature and humidity into the two EEPROMs. The temperature is uh, computed by the statement and the humidity is computed by the statement. The temperature is stored in EEPROM1 by calling function write to EEPROM and then humidity is written into EEPROM2 by calling the same function. 
This function was explained in more detail in my previous video. When we press the read button, the function read data will be called and executed. And inside this function and using this uh, for loop, we will display the temperature value stored in EEPROM1 by uh, calling function read from EEPROM. And then using this for loop, we will display the uh, humidity values by calling function read from EEPROM. This function again was explained in more detail in my previous video. In future videos, more data acquisition projects will be demonstrated using EEPROM and Arduino. Thank you for watching.